Hey gang, it's Jeff from James Freddy's channel and I have a 67 Camaro behind me that I want to put new floor pans in. Well, we're going to create a jig in this video. Not an actual full-on legitimate jig, but a jig that will help us keep our car in place when we remove the old floor pans and uh, put the new ones in. Let's see where we're starting at. I started by taking our 67 Camaro body <coughs> and leveling it up at several points throughout the car, along the back package tray, the front of the package tray, along the rockers, and the cowl and whatnot. Got it all shimmed up and into place, and then I started taking frame measurements which I was able to find the uh, Camaro frame measurements off the internet. Once I determined that the frame rails were all within tolerance of the factory measurements, I took a simple plug bob from certain points on the frame and measured down to the floor. Because the uh, frame rails in the car are approximately inch and three quarter, I went out and bought some inch and a half tubing because I thought it would be better to have it a touch small in case I wanted to set it under the frame rails and cut up a bunch of two inch squared pads in case I wanted to have some nice feet on it. Starting up here at the rocker and coming down going across and tying everything in I've got the front part of the jig. Now I'll just measure out for the rear cross member and go cut it out. there it is rather than prolong an already ridiculously long montage of cutting grinding and welding here we are done with the car let's uh, take a last look at it in the front here we're tied into the rocker panels and the front of the frame rails all squared in and gusseted here in the back we're also gusseted in and tied into the frame rails at the leaf perch 
This is a look at the floors that we'll be replacing. And the trunk pan. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for more in our series on this 67 Chevy Camaro.